Hey everyone, it's Jeremiah, and I am at Alamance Battleground State Historic Site for today's real-time update. Today is May 15th. It is one day before the battle, and as promised uh, in yesterday's video, rather than talk more about Tryon's militia, I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about the regulator perspective of things. Um, right now on May 15th, this is pretty close to the high water mark of the regulator movement. It's all sort of going to roll back tomorrow when the battle does start. And why is it that I haven't talked much about the regulators up to this point? Well, really that's because of the evidence that I have available. I've been using Governor Tryon's campaign journal, his orderly book, and it's because all of the evidence comes from the militia perspective that I've been mostly focusing on them. And we don't know a whole lot about what the regulators are doing during this time, how many regulators are here, uh, but we can kind of glean some small details from those Tryon uh, sources documentary evidence and then we also have other sources that we can use to sort of paint a picture of what's going on with the regulators right now um, so one thing we do know is where the regulator camp was in the days leading up to the Battle of Alamance and where they were at the battle and that's right here on Alamance Battleground State Historic Site I am standing at the regulator camp and on this spot for a few days leading up to May 16th, regulators began to congregate here and they chose this spot for a couple of reasons. Now note that I said they chose this spot. It's very interesting to note that even though Governor Tryon is doing everything that he can to sort of be in control during this militia campaign and really be in the driver's seat of this campaign, he is not in control of where this battle is going to be fought. It's actually the regulators who choose this ground. And I do have to say, they choose fairly well. Um, they choose a spot that is very well located and it's also a very good defensible position. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to step behind the camera and I'm gonna pan the camera a little bit so you can get a sense of what I'm talking about. I'm going to move over here. And if you look at the trees here, this is the largest part of the regulator camp. In the background is modern highway 62. And that modern road is close to the path of the historical Hillsboro to Salisbury Road. So that is going to allow the regulators to get into the road and block the advance of Governor Tryon as he's moving west towards Hugh Waddell in Salisbury. But here's the other more important thing about the ground that they choose. They choose in this area of rolling hills one of the highest elevations that is available in this local area. And in the foreground of the shot now, you can see how the ground goes downward and you have in the, the lowest part of that ditch, a very steep walk up this hill to try and take this position. And that is something that is noted by Governor Tryon's militia officers. In fact, there's one letter that gets published in a South Carolina newspaper that is a letter from a militia officer. And he says of this position, quote, it was the only ground we could not without action obtain. So they are trying to do two things. Uh, the regulators are trying to block Governor Tryon's advance. And then they are also trying to pick a spot where if they do have to fight a battle, they are going to do as well as possible. Now, this ground was not a pine barren as it is today. However, it would have been heavily wooded, so it would help the regulators to obscure themselves uh, if a battle did start and they wanted to make themselves um, uh, hard, to, uh, hard to see and hard to shoot. So from this spot, the regulators are sort of in control and you have to think that the regulators would have had a pretty uh, high opinion of themselves at this time. They are able to yield thousands of people to their cause and get them to congregate together. Only a couple days ago, another large group of regulators were able to block a North Carolina militia under the command of Hugh Waddell from crossing the Yadkin River. So they have to be 
running at a high. Um, and that uh, also is seen in sort of one of the largest victories that the regulators get during this time, uh, and that is the powder raid uh, in Mecklenburg County. Now, this is something that Governor Tryon does not know about at this point, so I haven't mentioned it yet, but around May 8th or May 9th, uh, less than a, about a week ago, there was a shipment of black powder, leggings, camp kettles, and other military equipment that is on its way to Hugh Waddell from Charleston, and it's going up through upcountry South Carolina and then up through uh, what's now Charlotte in Mecklenburg County, and a group of regulators are actually able to ambush that powder wagon and blow up all of the supplies that were meant to go to Hugh Waddell's force. And so if you look at it from the regulator perspective, they're moving huge numbers of people through the backcountry. They're able to block militia from advancing. They are disrupting supplies for the army. Really, they are at a huge high. And this is really sort of a um, a uh, high watermark for the regulator movement. So you can understand why confidence is going to be high and why when they do have their confrontation with Governor Tryon's militia, they're going to behave in a very, uh, a very certain way. And that uh, behavior is going to be very haughty, it's going to be daring the militia to fire. They almost want to fight a battle at this point. Uh, I don't want to give away too much about the battle though because tomorrow I am going to be back here at Alamance Battleground State Historic Site. I'm going to be on Facebook Live starting at noon talking about the Battle of Alamance in real time from when the battle starts uh, up to when the first part of the action ends and when the militia is able to push the regulators uh, off of this position and the lines sort of change. So for those of you who want to follow along with the battle in real time, check back here on our Facebook page at noon Saturday, May 16th. And I've got one more video that's going to be published before the 16th, and that is going to be a reading of the last piece of written evidence that we have from the regulator perspective. The very last petition that was written by the regulators and was sent to Governor Tryon. That petition was written right here at the regulator camp and it was sent to Governor Tryon's Great Alamance camp where it was received on May 15th at 6 p.m. So at 6 p.m. today I'm going to be posting that reading of the regulator petition from the regulator camp it's really their last attempt to get Governor Tryon to meet with them, listen to their grievances, and try to give them some uh, redress. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching today. I uh, look forward to seeing you live on May 16th at Alamance Battleground. Be sure to stay tuned this evening for my reading of the Regulator Petition written here at the Regulator Camp. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for those of you on Facebook, be sure to like and share. Thank you so much for watching today, and we'll see you tomorrow, May 16th, 249 49 years since the Battle of Alamance.